about to start my workout for today. This is a body weight workout. We will not be lifting anything, but I will be using my jump rope. If you don't have a jump rope, you can still do this workout right along with me. Really, the only thing you're going to need is an exercise mat or a yoga mat if you have one. If not, maybe a towel. If you're working out on a carpeted floor or on grass, you might not need anything at all. If you do have a jump rope, go ahead and get that ready. But if you don't, we'll talk a little bit more about what to do if you don't have a jump rope in just a minute. There are timestamps in the description box down below the video. So if you would prefer to skip straight ahead to the workout, you can use the chapter markers to do that. If you would like to see the exercises demonstrated and explained before we begin, let's go ahead and get into that right now so that you know what's coming up and you can do this workout right along with me. So let's start with jump rope because we're going to be starting with jump rope. I am going to start and end the workout with jump rope. I'm going to be doing 10 sets of 100 with my jump rope. So when I say a set of 100, I'm talking about 100 revolutions of the rope. I always just kind of jog in place like this while I'm jumping rope, but any style of jump rope you want to do is fine. So if you are more comfortable jumping with your feet together, jump with your feet together. If you're really good at jump rope and you would like to do something a little more challenging, you can do jump rope jacks or high knees. The only important thing is that we are counting revolutions of the jump rope. So 100 revolutions of the rope is one set of 100. We're doing 10 sets of 100 to start the workout. If you don't have a jump rope, you can substitute with about 10 minutes of any other kind of cardio exercise you want. The jump rope sections are going to take me somewhere in the neighborhood of plus or minus 10 minutes or so. Um, probably with where I am right now with jump rope a little bit over 10 minutes, but somewhere in that general vicinity. So um, if you would like to take this workout to a local park that has like a dirt track, or if you have access to the field at your local high school, you could go for a jog. Um, 10 minutes for some people might be one mile. Um, it might be a mile and a half or two miles. Your cardio sections don't have to be exactly 10 minutes long. Mine won't be, but something in that neighborhood. So if you wanna just jog for a mile or two around your neighborhood, that's fine. Um, also, if you wanna take this workout to the field at your local high school, you could do up and down the bleachers. If you have steps at home, you could do up and down the steps. Um, if you have like an exercise bike or a treadmill or an elliptical or something like that, you could hop on one of those for 10 minutes. You could shadow box, you could work on the heavy bag. You really can even just pretend to jump rope with me. Um, they actually sell jump ropes without the rope so that you are really just holding on to two handles while you pantomime jumping rope. So that's a completely legitimate option. You can get one of those if you want, but if you are already jumping over an imaginary rope, I see no reason why you can't do that while holding onto imaginary handles. So just pretending to jump rope like this is a completely legitimate option and it's the closest thing to what I'm doing. So you can just do that if you want. If you don't wanna do that, high knees, jumping jacks, mountain climbers, any kind of cardio exercise you want to do while I'm jumping rope is totally fine. Plus or minus about 10 minutes of any kind of cardio exercise you wanna do. So that's part one, 10 minutes or so of moderate paced cardio. Part two, is going to be like the main part of the workout. We're just doing two exercises back to back. So let me show you those. We are doing knee hug burpees and rocket launchers. So I'm going to show you the version of knee hug burpees that I'm doing, but if they're a little advanced for you, don't worry, I'll show you an easier version. And remember that you can always substitute with any burpee variation that works for you if the knee hug burpees are not going to work for you. So coming down onto the mat, we're gonna start with a knee hug. So all that means is that I'm going to be down on my mat, on my back like this. I'm going to extend my legs straight and I'm going to extend my arms up overhead. And now I'm going to bend my knees and sit up. I'm going to hug my knees into my chest like this. So my hands are coming around. I'm grabbing my knees and hugging them into my chest. Then I'm going to extend the arms and extend the legs again. Now I'm going to bend the knees again and bring them in towards my chest, but this time I'm going to sit forward. I'm going to send my momentum forward and it's, I can't show it to you in slow motion. So I'm just gonna have to do my best to describe it and then I'll show it to you. 
So as I sit up, my hands are going to come forward and I'm going to send my momentum forward so that I end up in this position with my hands in front of me. And then from here, these foxtails are everywhere. From here, I'm going to jump my feet back so that I'm in a plank position. I'm going to do a push up and then I'm going to jump my feet forward and sit back down onto my booty and then come all the way back down onto my back, return to my starting position. So that's one rep. I'll put one together so you can see how it flows and you can understand the movement a little better. So knee hug, bring the weight forward, let your momentum carry you forward until your hands up, end up in front of you. Jump or step the feet back. You can step them back if you need to. Push up from the knees if you need to and then come back up, either step or jump the feet back in, back down to the booty, and then back down to your starting position. One more, a little faster. Knee hug, bring the hands forward, jump the feet back, push up, jump the feet back in, return to the starting position. If that is too difficult for you, try this instead. So you're going to just place your hands down on the floor or the ground in front of you, step or jump, your feet back so you're in a plank position do your push-up either from your toes or from your knees then come down onto your mat roll over onto your back extend the legs straight extend the arms up overhead do your knee hug extend the legs extend the arms and then roll over jump the feet in and that's one rep okay you can stand you can jump up but that's a little bit easier version of knee hug burpees, so let's put one together a little bit faster. Hands come down, jump the feet back, push up, roll onto the back, knee hug, roll over, jump the feet in, and stand. So there's a couple of different options for you, but if neither of those is going to work, you really can substitute with any burpee variation you want. There are a million different burpee variations. So just choose one that works for you. If you um, need help, remember that I'm always here to help. So if you are having trouble coming up with a burpee variation that you can manage, just ask. I'm more than happy to help you find something. But your burpee doesn't have to include a push-up. Like I said, there are a million different burpee variations. Some of them include a push-up, some of them do not. So if you would prefer to not do push-ups, you can just choose a, vari a burpee variation that does not include a push-up, that's up to you. If you choose a burpee variation that does include a push-up, please just mind your form on the push-up. So make sure that as you are up here in your plank position, you're lifting your hips high. If your hips are slightly elevated like this, that's not terrible as long as your back is flat you're not going to hurt yourself doing the push-up this way and it will actually make it a little bit easier. So don't stress about that too much. But ideally you want your body to be in one straight line from your heels to your shoulders. What you don't want is to allow your hips or your belly to drop down like this. Do you see how my back is arched? That's not good for your back. You want a flat back. So tighten up those abs, lift the hips high and keep them high. The other thing is that you want your head in line with your spine, so keep your head still and don't allow your forehead to drop down to the mat like that. Okay, so bending your elbows, you're lowering your chest as low to the ground as you can, and then you're pressing the ground away and pushing yourself back up. It's a moving plank. So you see the position I'm in now? Nothing's moving, all right? I'm bending my elbows, that's the only body part that's moving. Everything else is staying perfectly still. Just like that. And if you're doing the push-up from your knees, the same principles apply. So in this case, that straight line is going to be from your knees to your shoulders. So don't allow your hips to drop down like this. Don't let your back arch. Tighten up those abs. Lift the hips. Keep them high. Flat back. Head in line with the spine. Don't allow your forehead to lower down to the mat like this. Bend your elbows and lower your chest as low to the ground as you can. If you can get your chest all the way down to the ground, great, that's what we're going for. But if you can't, don't compensate for that by lowering your hips or your belly to the mat. Don't compensate by lowering your forehead to the mat. 
just shorten up your range of motion. So if you can only come this far down, that's fine. Once you're as far down as you can go without breaking that straight line from your knees to your shoulders or from your heels to your shoulders, if you're doing the push-ups from your toes, you're gonna press the ground away and push yourself back up. Again, just keeping your body in one straight line, either from your knees to your shoulders or from your toes to your shoulders. Don't arch your back. Don't let your hips or your belly droop down to the mat and keep your head still. Don't lower your forehead down to the mat. The second and final exercise is rocket launchers. Super simple, but boy, are they tough. I hate these, you guys. All right, but we're doing them today because it's a great exercise. It's a total burnout for your quads. So you're gonna start with your feet together. It's really just like um, a jumping jack plus a jump up. So we're gonna count one, two, three, jump up. One, two, three, jump up, okay? So we're starting with our feet together. We're first gonna jump the feet out, stay low, jump them back in, staying low, and out. So that's one, two, three, and now jump up. So now for the next rep, we're gonna start with our feet wide apart, and we're gonna jump them in, out, and in, and then jump up, okay? So alternating reps, we're gonna start with our feet together versus starting with our feet apart. So you're gonna go count like this, starting with the feet together, out, in, out, and jump up. That's one rep, in, out, in, jump up. That's two. We're doing sets of 10. So each one rep is kind of like doing three jumping jacks plus um, a jump up. So if you're a beginner, if that's too many reps for you for whatever reason, um, you can just do regular jumping jacks. That's totally fine. If you have bad knees or downstairs neighbors and you need something quiet or something with no jumping, you can do like these side to side squats maybe. Something like that would work just fine as well. It's not going to tax your quads in the same way and it's not going to get your heart rate up in the same way, but it's a good alternative if you can't jump for whatever reason. Um, but also if for whatever reason jumping jacks aren't gonna work for you, really, again, any kind of cardio exercise you wanna do is fine. It's your workout, so do what works for you. I'm right here to help. So if you need help coming up with a burpee variation that you can do or something to do in place of the rocket launchers, please just ask. If you have questions about any of the exercises we're doing today, any doubts about how to do them with the correct form, or if you need any further help with beginner modifications, you guys, I'm right here. It is so important that you understand how to do the exercises correctly before you begin the workout so that you reduce your risk of injury and just so that you make sure you're getting the maximum benefit out of each exercise. So please ask questions if you have them. And you guys know it is also incredibly important to me that all of my workouts are always accessible to anyone and everyone who wants to do them with me. I am always here to help facilitate that. So again, if you need to see beginner modifications, please just ask. But that's it, those are the only two exercises that we're doing in part two. We're doing sets of 10, okay? So 10 burpees and then 10 rocket launchers, that's one round and we're doing 10 rounds. That's a lot of reps, that's a lot of burpees. That will mean that we're going to end up doing a total of 100 push-ups. So again, if that is too many reps for you, cut it in half, do five rounds, or three rounds, or two rounds, or whatever you can manage, or whatever you have time for. You should always be making whatever changes and modifications you need to make to make it work for you, but I am going to be doing sets of 10, 10 burpees, 10 rocket launchers, times 10 rounds. So it's gonna to be tough, all right? But that's what I'm doing. So that's part two, and then part three is the same as part one, just about 10 minutes of moderate paced cardio with my jump rope. I'm going to do another 10 sets of 100 with the jump rope, and that's it, that's the whole workout. I'm hoping that I can finish it in under an hour. With the way I've been going lately, it's probably going to take me closer to 90 minutes, but my goal is to finish in under an hour if I can. So I'm going to do my best to keep it moving and get the reps completed as quickly as I can, but not at the expense of my form. So remember, as always, especially if you're working out along with the video, to go at your own pace and mind your form. Do not sacrifice your form 
for speed. Please remember that I always take the time to type out the instructions in the description box down below the video and you're going to watch me do it right now. So watch me do it, read the instructions, but then of course, as always, if anything is unclear with the format or how you can customize the workout, I am right here. So don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions or if you need help. You've seen all of the exercises, you know what we're doing. So if you are ready to start this workout with me, go ahead and grab a yoga mat or an exercise mat if you have one. If not, maybe a towel or a blanket. Grab your jump rope if you have one. And if you're jumping rope with me today, take a minute to make sure you're good and warmed up. And when you're ready, let's get started. I'm dreading these jump rope sections. You guys know I've been struggling so much lately with my jump rope, with my stamina in general, but I feel it most when I'm jumping rope. So I'm gonna do my best. Just remember that if you trip over your jump rope, that's fine. You do not have to go back and start the entire set over. Just take a breath, leave it behind you, and as soon as you're ready, get right back into it. Pick up your count where you left off, okay? Um, I anticipate some tripping today because it's hot out here and I've been struggling so much lately with jump rope, so I'm just going to do my best, as should you. Remember that your best is always good enough, so let your best be good enough and do your best not to let the frustration get to you if you find yourself tripping over your jump rope. Again, if um, 10 sets is too many, you can do five sets. If sets of 100 is too many, you can do sets of 20 or 50, whatever works for you, okay? I am doing 10 sets of 100. So any style of jump rope you want to do is fine. As soon as you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. So grab your jump rope. I'm gonna start my watch and my timer is set as a stopwatch. We're starting that in three, two, one, and go. So a set of 100, meaning 100 revolutions of the jump rope. So you're going to count revolutions of the rope like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 20, 30, 40, 10 minutes because that's just where I am right now, but I'll keep it as close to 10 minutes as I can. So I'm going to zip it and do that nine more times. So as soon as you're ready, uh, set number two. Here we go.
five more. Nice, that's part one. That's our little warm up. I actually did manage to complete it in under 10 minutes. It took me about nine minutes and 12 seconds. So I'm good with that. Not exactly 
you know, blazing fast, but faster than I have been lately with my jump rope. I felt better today than it has in a long time, so I'm happy about that. Just taking a couple of minutes before I start on part two because we have a lot of burpees to do and a lot of rocket launchers, you guys. This is gonna be absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal, mark my words. So remember that if 10 sets is too many for you, or 10 rounds, I should say, if 10 rounds is too many for you, you can um, do five rounds or three or two. Okay, so just do these first like three rounds with me and see how you're feeling. Um, I would love for you to commit to five. Can you do that? Can you commit to five rounds with me? Let's do five rounds together if you can. And then if you feel like you can keep going, um, I'm gonna double that. <laughs> it's gonna be tough. All right, so I am doing knee hug burpees. I showed you a couple of different versions of knee hug burpees before the workout. But again, if neither of those is going to work for you, you can do any burpee variation you want with or without a push-up. But we're doing sets of 10. So we're gonna start with 10 knee hug burpees. So coming down onto the mat, on your back, extend the arms overhead, extend the legs straight. Now you're gonna hug the knees into your chest. Extend the arms, extend the legs, and come forward onto your hands, jump or step the feet back to a push up, jump or step the feet back in and return to the starting position. That's one, all right? Nine more, here we go. Knee hug, hands come forward, jump the feet back, push up, jump the feet back in. So that's our first set of 10. Not too, too bad, right? But pretty bad. Let's just take them one set at a time. So now, 10 rocket launchers. Rocket launchers are super tough. It's gonna be really taxing for the quads. So if this is too much for you, you can do five reps of rocket launchers or you can do 10 reps of something else like jumping jacks. All right, when you're ready, 10 rocket launchers. So starting with the feet together, bend the knees, stay low, jump out, in, out, and up. That's one. Now in, out, in, and up. That's two. Three. Four, keep going, we're going to 10. Do your best. And that's 
That's round one. Can you give me four more of those? Do your best. If you are starting with knee hug burpees or any advanced burpee variation that starts to become too difficult, you can just switch to an easier burpee variation if you wanna keep going with me, okay? So if you're doing these knee hug burpees with me, but after round two, round three, round four, gets to the point that you cannot do them anymore, just choose another burpee variation. Doesn't have to include a push-up if you don't want it to. All right? All right, sooner we start, <laughs> sooner we get this over with. Round two, here we go. instead of 10. Silliness. All right, that's round two. Keep pushing. Give me at least three more if you can, okay? At least one more. We can do three rounds, right? Remember to go at your own pace. If you're faster than I am, great. As long as you're not sacrificing your form for speed. If you're slower than I am, that's also great. Because you're out here, you're doing the work. So whatever speed you're going at is great as long as you're minding your form. So if you need to rest longer, pause the video. And when you feel that you're ready to continue with good form, just come back when you're ready. All right, round three. 
10 burpees. Also not 100% sure. I feel like I might have lost track. I'm gonna do one more just to make sure. I'd rather know there's a chance that I might have done 11 reps than wonder for the rest of the workout if I only did nine. So just do one more for safety. As they say in the biz, of not being able to count your reps, I guess. All right, that was at least 10, possibly 11. 10 rocket launchers. I always start rep number one with my feet wide apart, but, or do I? Yeah, I think I do. Maybe I start them together. I'm already loopy. We're not even finished with round three. I'll start with my feet together. Yeah, I think I start with my feet together. But I think what I was gonna say is if you want, you can start with your feet apart. It really doesn't matter. I'm stalling. Here we go. 10 rocket launchers. One. Two. Three. Four.
bother me, I'm working out. Can't you tell? All right, you guys, that was round four. If you're just doing five rounds with me, we're almost done. We have just one round left to go. So let's go ahead and get started. 10 burpees as soon as you're ready.
We're about 32 minutes in. So this is most certainly going to take me closer to 90 minutes, like I thought, instead of 60 minutes like I wanted, but that's fine. I'm gonna stay out here until the reps are done. It's all good. That was round five, so we're halfway through. We're essentially going to now repeat the workout in reverse, right? We just have to finish with five more sets of burpees and rocket launchers, or five more rounds of burpees and rocket launchers, and then 10 more sets of 100 with the jump rope. So, you have a few options here. If you wanna continue with me, I'm just taking a couple minutes to rest at this halfway point before I tackle the last five sets. So you can just rest with me and then continue. Pause the video if you wanna like towel, towel off and uh, hydrate a little, maybe eat like a half a banana or something. And just let your breathing slow down, let your heart rate regulate a little bit. Wait for the plane. repeating it starting from the top okay so play around with it play around with the format do whatever you need to do to make it work for you I am going to essentially do everything we just did in reverse okay so I'm going to do another five rounds of burpees and rocket launchers before moving on to part three which is just another 10 rounds of 10 sets of 100 with the jump rope so if you're continuing on with me and you've had enough time to rest, towel off, hydrate, you're ready to start round six. Here we go, we have to do another five rounds of these two exercises. Let's push, it's gonna be tough, but we'll get them done. Here we go.
can't decide which is worse, the burpees or the rocket launchers. They both suck, let's be honest. All right, 10 rocket launchers, here we go. We are one full round into the second half. We got this. Head down. Just focus on taking it one set at a time. So next set of burpees when you're ready. Here we go. six, but I'm calling it five. I'm going to have to start counting out loud. I'm sorry if that messes you up, but as the fatigue sets in, my mind wanders. It's hard to focus, and if I don't count the reps out loud, it makes it so easy to lose track of what number I'm on, so I'll try to count quietly. All right, five more. Every bit as brutal as I warned that it was going to be. I know it, you guys. I'm doing it with you, I know. Let's keep pushing. 10 rocket launchers to finish this round. We're getting there. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Not last one push. That's 
hands. seven. Taking a couple more really deep breaths. Trying to slow down our breathing just a little bit before starting this round number eight. All right. When you're ready. It was gonna be brutal. 
So we have just two rounds left to go. All right. A couple of deep breaths. And when you're ready, let's start on our burpees. Just focus on this one set of burpees for now. One set at a time. Here we go. One rep at a time. taking a few breaths halfway between the set these last couple rounds. If you need a longer rest break, take it. When you're ready, here we go. Five more reps. And you guys, that's rep number 90 on the day. 90 knee hug burpees. That's amazing. That means we've done 90 knee hugs and 90 push-ups. So far. Just 10 left to go. But we've only done 80 rocket launchers. So let's, let's catch up with another 10 rocket launchers. And then you guys, that's round eight, or I mean round nine. All right, here we go, let's push. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, uh, and ten. So now we've done ninety rocket launchers on the day. That's amazing. Rocket launchers are no joke. We're still well under an hour, so I'm definitely not going to make my initial goal of finishing in under an hour, but it won't be as far off as I had feared. Hopefully, anything could happen, I guess. Counting my chickens before they cash. Oh, okay. Final round. If you need a longer rest break, pause the video and come back when you are ready. Take as long of a rest break as you need. Just challenge yourself to keep it as short as you can. But when you feel that you're ready to continue with good form, here we go. This is our final set of these two exercises. So 
I'm picking up my count at 90. in between sets, I still have a slim chance of finishing in under an hour 10 minutes. But that's our round 10. So that's part two of the workout. So if you're not continuing on, if you're not doing the cardio, you're done. Do your bonus burpee. You're not officially done until you do your bonus burpee. And then again, just please make sure you're taking a good 15, 20 minutes at least to stretch. You can stretch later in the day, but the best time to stretch 
is right after your workout, as close to the workout as you can because your muscles are nice and warm and loose. Um, trying to stretch your muscles when they're cold is not a good idea if you stretch later in the day. It's gonna add time to your stretching routine because you're gonna have to like do a little warm up first, jog in place, you know, do like some plie squats or something like that. And it's not a big deal, you can do it, but if you do your stretching right now, your muscles are already warmed up so they're loose, they're pliable. It's gonna be easier to stretch them and you're much less likely to overstretch them or uh, you know, push yourself too hard and uh, pull something. Um, while you're trying to stretch them. It's another thing. Don't, uh, be careful when you're stretching. Stretching is important, but you also have to, same way you have to mind your form during the workout, you have to mind your form during the stretches. And as always, don't push your body into doing something it's not ready to do, okay? So make sure you're stretching correctly. All right. So once you have toweled off and maybe had a couple more bites of your banana, had a few sips of water or sports drink or whatever you're drinking. And you are ready to continue. Part two or part three is going to be the same as part one for me. I'm going to repeat the same thing I did for part one. So that's 10 sets of 100 with my jump rope. It's going to take me about plus or minus 10 minutes. So you can repeat exactly what you did for part one or you can do something else. You can do 10 minutes of some other type of cardio. It's totally up to you. If you need a longer rest break, pause the video, come back when you're ready. We're still under an hour. So I really do still have a chance to finish this in under an hour 10. So I'm going to go ahead and start part three. I'm going to zip it, conserve my energy, and I'm going to get through this jump rope section as cleanly as I can and as quickly as I can. I'm really going to challenge myself to take short rest breaks in between the sets and really push through and get this done as quickly as I can. So when you're ready, 10 sets of 100 with the jump rope. Here we go.
we're halfway there. Don't rest if you don't need to. You just have five sets to go.
10. And that's part three. One hour, nine minutes, and 36 seconds. So a little bit longer than an hour, but I thought it was gonna take me closer to 90 minutes. So the fact that I finished in under an hour and 10 minutes, I'm thrilled with that. The most important thing is just that I got out here and I got it done. So very happy about that. We are not quite finished yet. No workout of mine is ever complete until we have done our bonus burpee. So we have just one rep left to go, but first it is time for the McFlurry Minute. I'm going to reset my timer to count down 60 seconds for me. I'm going to jump rope for 60 seconds and if I can make it through the entire 60 second work interval without tripping over my jump rope, everybody wins a free McFlurry. So give me just a minute to reset my timer. I will meet you right back here. All right, my timer has been reset. I have the lovely Victoria with me again today. Victoria is my beautiful silver jump rope with the pretty light pink metallic handles. And for those of you who have asked me where I get my jump ropes, I will leave a link and a coupon code in the description box down below the video. So click on the link and use coupon code RUDEBECCA to save an additional 10%. We have a streak going of 10 successful McFlurry minutes in a row. So we are into the double digits. That means the pressure's on. The pressure always mounts with every day that we add to the streak, but especially once we reach double digits, I really start to feel the pressure. So I'm nervous. I want to keep the streak alive. I'm going to do my best to get us all some free ice cream today. So wish us luck. We are starting as always with a 10 second rest interval. And hopefully in just about a minute from now, we can all head to McDonald's and eat some free ice cream for lunch. Here we go. is arising. It's getting really hot out here. So let's wrap this up. And for the 11th day in a row, let's meet at McDonald's and eat some free ice cream for lunch because we deserve it. And honestly, it's the only way I'm going to get through the summer. So now we have just one rep left to go. Let's do our bonus burpee together. And then the workout will be officially complete. Here we go when you're ready, final rep of the day. With that, the workout is now officially complete. I thought this was a great workout. It was super simple, but really tough. I hope you enjoyed it as well. If you did this workout with me today, thank you so much. Please let me know what you thought of it and how you did. Thank you to everyone who has been working out with me lately. And even if you are not doing the workouts with me, thank you for watching the videos. Thank you for liking and sharing the videos. Thank you for all of your wonderful and supportive and engaging comments. It really does mean the world to me. Thank you to all of my new subscribers. If you are not subscribed already, please subscribe. And of course, a great big thank you to those of you who have been subscribed to my channel for years. Please know that I appreciate you all so very much. One final reminder, 
that if anything is unclear with the format, if you have questions about how to customize the workout, if you have any doubts about how to do the exercises with the correct form, or if you need help with beginner modifications, I am right here. So don't hesitate to reach out if you have questions or if you need help. That is going to do it for today. But before I say goodbye, I have to say one final thank you to those of you who have been watching the videos all the way until the end and commenting with the secret code phrase of the day. So before I say goodbye, I will give you today's secret code phrase of the day. It is relinquish is just a fancy word for lose. So if you are still watching this video, hello. Thank you for watching all the way to the end. Please let me know that someone is still watching by going down to the comment section and leaving me a comment that says, relinquish is just a fancy word for lose. That is gonna do it for today and I will see you all next time. Bye.